Looks like we got ourselves a deck steel here. So before we get out of the car, what I want to see would be four equal points on the uh, rebar stingers and uh, proper splices and terminations. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got some lily pads here. So we need to see jumpers in between here because this is going to get full of gravel and it'll corrode the rebar and uh, right now these are just kind of floating so these aren't bonded because you got the water's edge right there and uh, you know what? I actually don't see any thing that I want to see here. Okay, here. Here's something that I want to see, but it's not even connected to the deck yet. This is not a good start. Uh, that looks more promising, but this is going to corrode here. Wow. Yep, when you see jumpers in between all these, all copper, so it can't corrode. And this is one of the first times I've seen where they've got this gap here. Might be a drain. All right, so here's the idea behind everything. Your touch to step ratio, I'm going to explain it here, so pause it and read along. This is why anything within five feet of the water's edge should be bonded. A switch that's on will read zero volts because there's no difference in voltage. But if you read across an open switch or a switch that's off, it'll read 120. Just imagine your legs as the leads of the meter. All right, well, another good reason to make sure you guys schedule inspections, especially for your pool deck steals. All right, that's all I got.